Hey everybody, it's Calum and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we made it a little bit further into the Lineru mining facility, and now we're hopefully going to finish it off in this episode. Uh, grab the switch, thank you. That brings another minecart over, which... Um, yeah, we're going to use. Just because the other one is going to stay where it is. So. You might as well just use this one. Also, yeah. That was something important. Right. Alright, we don't do anything with that yet. Let's just... Eh. 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 There we go. <clears throat> now all we need to do... Is just open the door for this minecart to go through. And follow it along its journey. Along the way, however... We have to deal with Beemos. And by deal with them, I mean just avoid them at all costs. Until you get to this one, which is actually going to be in your way. Good job we have fairies. This one's actually going to be in your way, so get rid of it as quickly as you can. Oh, we did anyway, never mind. And yeah, just stay on the other side of the minecart for the ones that you can actually reach. Surprisingly, it's hard to stay walking next to something that is barely moving. <laughs> and we can run, because that's not going to catch us up. We can pull the switch down to bring it closer. And now that that's here, we can now unlock another shortcut. <coughs> Like so. We now have a shortcut right back to the entrance, which is phenomenal. However, what we're going to want to do right now is get rid of the that guy. And uncover yet another minecart. Let's just activate it. Like so. And begin our journey. If you see target, you can actually move a little bit easier against the minecart. Which I highly recommend doing. And we're going to take this on this Beemos while we can. Stab it. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And be on the ready with your gust bellows. Just stand right here. And blow to your heart's content. Preferably until this thing is completely open. Like so, now we can leave it. Run to the other side. Speed things up by bringing it over. And all we gotta do now is just attack it again, I believe. To turn everything off. And then turn it back on. And of course, this is gonna move slowly, so I'll just meet you over at that platform. <coughs> All right, let's go for the door. And on to the last, well, the last unexplored area of the map. 
Got a broken ladder there. Which can only mean one thing. I didn't think I hit that, but okay. Let's get rid of these guys. Let's just blow them off the walls. There we go. Now, these vines... Yeah. They're going to have the steam pipe or the steam things trying to blow you off every which way on these vines. So just be a little bit wary of that. And go straight up from there. I recommend going down a little bit from... That didn't even touch the sole of my shoe. Safe to say, just keep your distance as best you can. Wait for that, and there we go. And just before we run out of frickin' uh, stamina, I hear more keys. There we are. Hello. Are you gonna drop a monster claw for me, unlike your compadres? That's a no. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Got some places for our bombs to go. Yeah, just a ruby in there. Try that again. What? I thought that went in. I thought that was... Of course, I'm out of bombs. Fantastic. Bombs? No. How about the barrels over here? Come on. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Yes! Bombs and a heart. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. Uh, amber relic in there. Don't mind if I do. Let's jump across here. What? Nothing in there. Let's get our Gus Bellows out. Reveal a time shift stone. And strike. Somewhere, we're going to have to deal with two Armos. It isn't a good idea. Well, I mean, it's actually kind of a clever idea, game-wise, because it's, you know, testing your skills, but it's not a good idea for us to ever really do that. Oh, do that in real life. God, I'm... Just stab it! My God, that is annoying. Okay, run across here. Yep, made it. Now we can pull this down. Which causes that to come to us. Uh, we can also drop down here. But I don't know, actually. I'm going to wait for that Beamos to turn around. Then I'm going to... Not what I wanted to do. Funnily enough. And stab. See, the stab works. But for some reason, it just sometimes doesn't. Despite me doing the exact same thing each and every time. And I don't know what that... Oh. <sighs> I thought I could be fancy about things, but no. Well, at least now I don't have to run along the whole conveyor belt. I just have to go up here. I actually don't know what would be on the other side of that conveyor belt. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, it's a door. Uh, not really that important. Anyway. Let's 
Just blow ourselves across. Can't do anything there. Can we make that? Yeah, we can. Cool. And why not? <laughs> Got another one of these. Okay, now it's going to bring out its little... Little buddies. One requiring a horizontal and one requiring a vertical slash. There we go. You can also skyward strike them, uh, the little things, and they'll do the exact same thing as if you just slash them normally. You're gonna explode a bunch of rupees everywhere. Again, over a pit. You don't really ever see them not over a pit, which absolutely sucks. But yeah. And I just want to see what's inside all of these. And by all of these, I mean both of these, because there's two of them. And we can see that there are two robots, three robots, and one robot. Yet another callback to... In my opinion, a lesser Zelda game. Uh, definitely not control-wise, because... We all know how well this game controls. I, I, I need to stop making jokes like that. I do like the way this game controls, and I do think it is really cool how some things work. I just think it's a lot of lost potential. Come on, go faster, 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 faster. Yeah! But no, I, I really do think it's just a bunch of lost potential. Uh, let's pull this over now that we have a shortcut. Uh, now we just need to make our way in there somehow. Which I imagine requires this. Uh, come on, I'm holding the button. It's weird, it's not even like the... M a lot of people complain about the motion controls. The motion controls aren't really that terrible in the game. Yeah, they're not the best compared to other games. Let's just bring this back. But I don't hear a lot of people complaining about the other problems in this game that I tend to come into contact with. And I've seen other people come into contact with, but then they still don't bring it up. For instance, just making short, tiny movements can be a pain. Regardless, we can see a gem in there. And if we do the same thing over this way, you see another gem. And jump over here. one in there, and we see a third gem. So what you want to do is look right across there, and you can see the order in which you want to hit things. We're going to use our hook beetle. Alright, there we go. We're going to use our hook beetle just to get this over with a little bit quicker. We're gonna hit this crystal because that was the one marked by one robot. This one, which was marked by two, and finally the one in the center. And if you're on, if you're wondering what reference I was referring to, how meta? Over over on the other side, you can see that it's two, three, and then one. Which is a reference to Ocarina of Time, which, in my opinion, isn't 
the best Zelda game of all time, and it's definitely leagues below this one in certain aspects, but definitely not Control. Okay, how are we, how are we gonna... There we go. Uh, I'm sorry. There we go. But yeah, it's a reference to Zelda's... Uh, Ocarina of Time, Zelda's first dungeon. With the whole 23 is number one password thing that everyone knows if you've played that game. Yeah. But now, we must take on the Armos. One thing I love about uh, this room where we're fighting the Armos. As you can see, there's something on the floor. Sort of like a guideline. And that is exactly what it is. It is a guideline to how close you need to be in order to fight the Armos. As soon as we cross that, we're now fighting this one. It's a nice little thing to show that we don't need to take them both on at the same time. And we can pick and choose our fights, which is nice. Because normally in Zelda games where you have to fight two of the same enemy that are quite strong and or difficult to defeat, they kind of make you take them on at the same time. It's a nice exception here. But we finally found the boss key. You got the ancient circuit. It is made of shining gold. It also looks like it may be part apart from something. The surface is inlaid with circuitry. And that door is now open, so we can go run to that. And we just need to go down here. I jumped in the wrong part. I meant to jump slightly to the left. There we go. Quick little shortcut down here. Uh, now we have to do more of this. Conveyor belt running with steam. It is not friendly. Prime example. Ooh, we just missed that steam. Uh, I forgot to mention, you can kind of run in... Like, run in place if you were to just stop holding the sprint button. Which is kind of interesting. But it's... yeah. It's not really that necessary. Well, I mean, it is because that's what we used to actually... whatever. Uh, we can climb up this ladder. Where does this lead us? Or have we been here before? We haven't. I believe this is actually a shortcut as well, so that's good. If we pull this. There we go. We got a shortcut. It jumped the monster claw! I didn't even mean to walk off the edge there, but... Uh, it's kind of how I feel right now. Just walking off the edge just to get a monster claw that fell to the abyss. Get this keys. Hopefully, more drop some monster claws. Come on. Hopefully, you didn't drop a monster claw, because that would be garbage. <laughs> All right, we're now on the other side. So originally, we brought that. Uh, well, this minecart all the way to the other side. We noticed that there was a barbed wire fence on the other side, too. Which was affected by time. Speaking of time, you do actually have to time this. Because you have to not only keep in time with the minecart, but also you have to time the steam, and yeah. And, just to speed things up, let's pull that along, and this is the boss door. Master, look at this. 
There is a great door here that is locked tight. It is only logical that something of great importance likely resides behind this door. And I believe looking through the map now, we've not... Okay, we have missed one, but that was just a small chest that I purposefully missed. It's 20 rupees, it's fine. But we've pretty much not missed anything. Now, we just need to... Rotate this... Uh... In a way that it will unlock the door. Like so. No bull with Girahim, we're thrown straight into a battle with... The Thousand Year Arachnid, Maldorak. Which, in many, many, many people's opinion, is considered to be the easiest boss of the game and should have been the first boss of the game. I've heard many people say that this should be the boss that you fight in... Like the uh, seal temple, or not the seal temple, the wooded temple. Is that, is that what it's called? I can't remember what it's called. I'm actually not doing too great on this purely because I'm. <sighs> I don't know why I'm not doing too great on this, actually. I shouldn't be making any excuse. What you want to do is just keep hitting the eyes that are in its claws. There we go. I don't know how much we have to hit them, but, you know. I think you can just take out one claw immediately, and then be done with that claw forever. Damn it. Jesus, why didn't I break out quickly there? Uh, do we have more fairies? Uh, god, no, we don't. Oh, no. Let's put the shield back on. Like I said, everyone thinks this should be the first boss of the game. I should run. In my opinion, it is easy. I'm just not having the greatest time because... Controls, I guess? My problem has been the controls, honestly. Let's get rid of the little claw first. Or the big one. There we go. Big one's down. And the little one's down. Sick. Now we just get our Gust Bellows out. And just find where Moldorak will be. Of course, we have to stab. Not something I'm great at, apparently. If this game's anything to go by. Or if my past experiences in this dungeon are anything to go by, I'm not great at stabbing. Gonna charge at us like a rhino beetle, despite clearly being a scorpion. Just clear out the sand that covers Moldorak. Ouch. Moldorak's easy to find in the sand, you just follow the lump. And there we go. No tricks. That is Maldorak defeated.
and you can see that I was clearly having some problems with the controls and because of that, you know, well, even though, despite that, I should say, it was still easy. Pick up the heart container. We're now on our second row of hearts. And this place is actually really cool looking. But now, we just walk through the door. Hmm? <gasps> 